I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and Happy New Year! I am so excited for a new year full of color and yarn and thought that I would take this opportunity to talk about some of my resolutions and goals related to all things Chemnitz while you watch me dye some tonal yarn and layered tonal yarn. First things first, the yarn bases I'm using are Knit Pick Stroll fingering weight yarn, which is 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, and Knit Pick Swish DK, which is 100% superwash merino wool. I will have affiliate links to both of these yarn bases down in the video description. For all of these tonals, I'm using some 1% dye stocks as the dye source. I will include recipes down in the video description, and I think I'll pop them on the screen with the finished dry yarn at the end of the video. But what are my goals and dreams for 2025? I don't know if I'm going to manage to accomplish all of these, but at least by telling you these goals, that's giving me a little bit of accountability. My first resolution for 2025 is to do more live streams. I would like to do a public live stream at least once a month. Uh, whether that is in place of a pre-filmed video in my Friday slot. I always post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays at a minimum, but I'd like to go live at least once a month. And some of this will be yarn dyeing. Some of this, maybe finally, I'll do a spinning live stream or some other kind of fiber arts project. But I also want to do at least one of those silly yarn dyeing games uh, where I have a picker wheel that will randomly select the colors I'm going to use and randomly select the dyeing techniques that I'm going to feature. This is a lot of fun and helps me showcase my thought process and creativity as we are dyeing our yarn. I realized that the last time I did one of these streams was the week before my mom died back in 2023. And that's probably why I haven't done one since. And I'm really excited to do one again. And for me, I don't know, that's very healing that I'm so excited and energized to do this. So that'll be coming in 2025, I hope. Another one of my goals for 2025 is to do some more dying to knit type vlogs. Um, I would like to do more projects that I specifically dye the yarn for, whether it is a woven project, a spinning project, or a knitting project. I mean, I suppose it could be a crochet project as well, but hopefully you get the sense of what I'm talking about. I have some works in progress that I should finish up and share, and I think it's just helpful for people to see what hand-dyed yarn can turn into. and. It's just something different from what I always do, and I'd like to try to do a couple more of it. Again, this is a resolution. <laughs> Similar to this, in 2025, I want to weave something with my hand dyed yarn. I have done a few rigid heddle loom projects so far, and technically the very first thing I did was some coasters that I think, did Lucas die? with hand dyed yarn, there were hand dyed coasters, but that's not the same as doing a full project, like most likely a scarf with hand dyed yarn. And so that's something that is a goal for this year. Another goal that is more content focused is that I would like to make slash finish what I've already started for some new learning how to dye intro to dyeing yarn videos. Think of this like an updated version of what I created with Knit Crate back when we had that collaboration, back when that company still existed. Now those videos do still exist and are still available, but they're not on my channel. And I think that it would be handy for me to have a playlist of videos that are for people who want to get started and that are not assuming that you've watched hundreds of my other videos before. And so if you have something that you think should be covered in that series, please let me know. I have refilmed this next section multiple times because, not because it's hard to say, but it's, I'm unsure of even my own feelings on the subject. But one of my resolutions and something I am determined to try to do is to post short form content across social media 
more frequently in 2025, whether that's reels on Instagram and Facebook or shorts here on YouTube. And I really wanna be clear and emphasize that I'm not shifting my focus from the long form content that I love to create and I know you love to watch. My goal is still to produce two longer YouTube videos every single week. But to help support the production of those videos and to help promote those videos to more people, the way that YouTube and video content creation is heading, I need to also make short form content to bring people here to watch these other videos. And so part of this is me being pragmatic. Part of this is also me realizing that these longer form videos I create um, lend themselves very nicely to some really aesthetically pleasing time lapses of me adding color to yarn. And so I can use a portion of a longer form video that I've created to make a short, to answer a frequently asked question, to briefly explain a dying term or concept, or sometimes this would only be on Instagram and Facebook to summarize a video that I've done here on YouTube. And so then maybe I can direct people here better. And so I'm trying to view shorts as more of a marketing push. And I'm realizing that I need to put some effort into promotion of my content. And I think that this is gonna be a way that I can do that to help achieve my goals. This is me not putting all my eggs in one basket. This is me observing the way that people's consumption of content has shifted over the last couple of years and trying to make sure that I can continue doing what I'm doing and creating the yarn and the colors that I love to create. And so I want to make sure that Chemnitz can have a strong foundation for a strong future. And so I would really appreciate uh, suggestions as I go into this because I don't want to bombard people with too many notifications, but I'm hoping that these shorts will be a fun supplement to the long form content because I know that there's no way shorts could replace the regular content that I create here. And I don't want them to. I would like them to, I don't know, maybe summarize things and help you determine if it's a video that you wanna watch. I think the final Chemnitz related resolution is also a more personal one in that, and this is also related to something I've said already in that I wanna do more dying to knit content but I also really want to encourage myself to spend more time knitting and creating because I think that even if I'm not working with my own hand dyed yarn, even if I'm working with commercial yarn, yarn dyed by other dyers, what have you, I think that having those projects is really important for me mentally, spiritually, in all kinds of ways. And so I should make a really conscious effort to try to make sure I carve out time for that. I don't think that any of these resolutions are a huge shock or surprise. There are a few items on this list that have been on my list for years. <laughs> there are a few items on this list that were also on my list last year. Oh, the spinning live streams. I need to make it happen. But I do think that we're going to have a lot of fun this year. I have so many ideas of the videos I want to film and the yarn that I want to dye. And I just need to jump in, get started and create something beautiful to share with you. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. This is the biggest thing that you can do to help support the content here. Subscribing, watching the videos, commenting on the videos, all of this engagement really helps the channel grow. And this is something that's really important to me and is what enables me to continue to take risks with color and yarn.
If you want other ways to support the content, uh, I have a Patreon. You can join to become a channel member. There's tons of things down in the video description that you can check out. I hope that you are excited for what is to come in 2025 as I am. Thank you so much for watching.